what's up guys Bubba here from Team Kerbcraft and today we have got a, another house tour today's episode is Kerbcraft number 77 and today we are not on the Kerbcraft world obviously we are here in Bubbaville my map that I like to build on we're gonna be touring the first house in the Lakeside Forest community it is this house right here as you can see in the background it is a nether rack and sand house uh, I really do like the color combination on this highly recommend it that like deep dark red with uh, that light tan in the sand <whistles> looks good um, it's a two bedroom uh, one and a half bathroom house uh, right on the lake as you can see here I really do like uh, this whole lake area how it's starting to turn out almost gone around the entire lake uh, downtown area as I mentioned in my uh, tour of the world a while ago uh, that's starting to come out a little bit better I changed up a few things in it so uh, it's a lot different than the last time you guys saw it so maybe you guys will see that again here in the pretty near future um, as we fly around got a nice two car garage here and that brings us all the way back to the front so we'll just head back here to the road as I run into a tree jump over this bush here and we will walk straight up to the front porch the front porch kind of wraps around not all the way around because it didn't really line up well with that porch there but we'll check it all out in a minute um, we'll walk in here to the front door Got a nice big table, you can throw your keys down and whatever the heck you're carrying for the day. Got a nice creeper painting. Uh, we'll head it back in here just so I don't forget about this. Got a nice little half bathroom in here for uh, when you show up at the house. Toilet and a sink. So that's nice. Uh, we'll walk in here. I really like this pillar design that I did right around in here. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the downstairs area. Uh, we kind of got the great room area here. We got the TV area with a, the nice view of the lake. <coughs> um, Nice big TV and a little desk there to play some uh, uh, computer games, that's what I'm trying to say, and uh, watch some Cribcraft videos, as always. Got kind of like the formal sitting area, just sit here, talk to people. And then kind of here's the dining room, uh, nice big dining room table, seating for eight. Again, perfect amount for a Minecraft world. Here's the breakfast nook, seating for six this time. A couple of nice little chandeliers here. And so we walk into the kitchen, kind of got a galley style kitchen, it's got a nice little pass through so you can see what's going on out there. S fridge, freezer combo, stove, sink with a nice view of the lake, and a microwave. <coughs> and here's the closet, got some nice uh, big chest, that's what I'm trying to say, with some cauldrons down there for some more storage. Uh, we'll head back here, there's a little hallway back here, this heads over into the garage with some nice shelving right there. Uh, in here we got our smart car. The other car must be gone or somewhere else because it's got some boxes here in the way. Nice garage doors and some uh, windows. You can't really see out the windows because I kept them at the same level as the actual house windows, but they're there to provide a little bit of light. We'll walk back across the house and we will head up the stairs. The stairs are right here kind of in this corner. Uh, they head up here. Nice little walkway. Nice views of the lake from right here. Like That's probably one of my favorite views of the lake. I like this view right here. There's going to be two more houses in this community. It's kind of like a lakeside private community. I like that. There's a nice couch. You can see a little bit of the lake and a house. I'm starting over there. Uh, right over here you can look and see the chandelier because you can swing from the chandelier here. Um, right there. <coughs> That's obvious. Um, balcony. Uh, we'll head over here to this bedroom. Uh, this is kind of like the single bedroom for like the kids I guess if you could say. Uh, it's got a view of the river over there. Nice creep painting dresser, another view uh, right there. You can see the water for right now until construction starts on the next two houses. Here got a nice big walk-in closet, pretty similar to the pantry, just a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll walk down here. Here's a nice big bathroom. really do like this bathroom. Nice sink. You can see a uh, Kerbcraft episode 74's house right there. Um, got a nice uh, toilet there and a big old shower slash bath combo. I really do like this design. It's probably one of my favorites. I might do an interior tutorial, uh, something similar to this. Uh, maybe I'll just do it in here and tear out everything and mark everything up for you guys. Uh, we'll walk over here into the master bat, into the whole master suite combo. I went with mossy stone, uh, cobblestone walls in here. You're gonna probably say, why did you do that, Bubba? Uh, the reason why, it's kind of on a lake. I thought I'd give it that rustic feel with uh, some lamps in here. So that's an idea. Got a nice uh, laptop so you can watch your creepcraft videos while you're chilling out, creeper painting. And some shelves up in the corners to display whatever the heck you want to display in a dresser right there. Uh, and here's the bathroom. I like this bathroom not as much as the other one, but I do like it. Nice view of the Lakeside Forest uh, sign right there in the river on, above the sink. 
All right, here's the shower bath. You can see Crew Crew 74 again in a few other houses. I really do like this shower. It's pretty simple, but the way that it fits into the corner there, it, it just ties the bathroom together and a toilet as always. Um, right in here, we have the uh, bath, uh, not bath, this is the uh, walk-in closet. Uh, not really a great view here. Before I put that tree up, uh, there's a good view. You can see Clips Towers in the background. Might check those out in a later video. Um, that pretty much concludes the entire interior. So uh, we're going to swing from the chandelier here, here, and then just fall down into the uh, main room here. And we'll walk outside onto the back balcony. Back here we have a nice grill design and a couch, nice outdoor couch. We're just looking over the water, see what's going on. And a nice pathway. This heads over to the dock. Their boat must be out, but uh, we got a couple of fishing rods here for uh, if we want to go fishing. So that's a nice little touch there. Uh, they got Joe Plays MC chilling out up there on top of the roof. Uh, his channel, I'll link it in the description for him. He just hit 300 subs, so congrats on that, man. Good job. You're getting up there. Good luck in the future. Uh, that's pretty much the entire interior. I guess we will uh, close it out, standing right out here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the Crew Pack channel, please subscribe. As uh, we do get, uh, we're going to start having daily content here in a couple of weeks. That's pretty much it. Peace out, guys.